Welcome to the last lecture of this semester. Um, so this week, we are talk about how we can query data into MongoDB. And as we said, MongoDB is one of the most famous and also popular non-SQL database. And it is unstructured, or it, it is semi-structured, uh, so that it is easy to ingest data into MongoDB, as we did last week. That you don't need to predefine any structures um, of your collections. You just need to insert any type of data into MongoDB and they will take it. However, so if you want to query the data, so once the data is uh, once the data is into the uh, MongoDB and if you want to make queries, uh, it will be a little bit harder because as we said, the structure is undefined. So when you query the data, you should kind of give the guidelines or the, the structures that how MongoDB should report the result. So it is also sometimes called schema on read, so that when you read the data, you have to define the schema. And there are several ways that we can manage the MongoDB, just as we did uh, in the post jerry circle. So you can use a Mongo shell, uh, which is an interactive JavaScript interface. Um, and the post jerry circle had the similar features, but we didn't use that one. But both post jerry circle and also MongoDB support uh, the comment line. Uh, you can use Mongo Atlas, which is a cloud uh, database service, and it provides uh, the you can use a browser to query your data. Um, uh, you can use Campers, which is a GUI for MongoDB that is equivalent to the PG admin. And however, in Campers, uh, you are not using SQL code. Instead, we are going to use CRU div um, query language, so which is equivalent to the SQL uh, in MongoDB. So both Atlas and also Campers and also Mongo shell, uh, they will call making queries by using CRUD. Okay, so that is the interface of the compares, and we already see that uh, in the uh, in the first lecture of this session. So that uh, we made queries, uh, a simple query on the sample data. And lastly, you can always um, use other application like you can call the MongoDB in Python. C, Java, etc. So as we did in the last uh, lab that we collect tweets and also insert tweets into MongoDB um, by using Python. Okay, so let's talk about some basic CURD operations. Uh, CURD stands for the create, read, update, and also delete. Okay, and you may also uh, note that, okay, so that is what CURD can do. So we can add new data we can read existing data, we can make update, and also we can also delete uh, the data. <clears throat> so create options is pretty simple. So basically you can use call the database dot collection and dot insert function. So that is where insert one document, or you can insert multiple document at one time by using the insert menu. Okay, and so we already did that one in the in, in a previous lab. So we use db dot tweet collection dot insert one, and each time when we have a tweet that um, coming out from the Twitter APIs, and we insert that one into our uh, MongoDB database. And in this premises, you have to tell the, the the documents so that in this case it should be a within a pair of the curly bracket and key value key value pairs. Okay, um, you can also read. So read basically is using a find function. And if you remember that in the in Python, we all we actually did that one. So like we find out a tweet talking about specific keywords and we used the find function that will retain um, uh, the matched data. Okay, so for example, here we can see that uh, db collection name dot find. And here we need to define the query so here we say, okay, uh, for the users, the age is greater than 18 will be retained. Okay, and also you can define the other 
uh, parameters like if you only want to return the name and also address and also if you want to see how many records being returned so in this case only five records will be returned okay so that's a very basic um, 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 that example of the user find operator, so find function that is used for read operations. Update. Uh, so you can update one document, you can update multiple document, or you can just simply replace the entire document by using this replace function. Uh, so the syntax is, well, I just give you one example because <clears throat> Uh, we are not going to do that in, uh, in our lecture and also in our lab. So, for example, here we want to update all the records where if the their age is is less than 18, we are set their status key, the value of status key, into reject. Okay, so that is an update um, operation. So. Uh, for all the users whose age is beneath under 18, their status will be rejected. So that is what this operator, um, update operator is doing. Of course, we have the delete. Uh, you can delete one or you can delete many. So for example, here we can delete all the users whose status are now rejected. Okay, uh, so that is um, uh, delete. Okay, again, we are not going to um, manually write those uh, queries because it is, uh, to be honest, a little bit complicated. So fortunately, uh, so we can use campers, which can help you to formulate those queries. And you can use those queries on, in campers directly, or you can copy and paste those queries into your other applications like Python. Okay, uh, so let's dive details into the queries. Um, so those are read operators. So before we do that, let's make sure that we connect to our uh, database in campus. Okay, uh, so here you can see I uh, started campus and I provided uh, the host URL in which you can find out on campus. And also we use password, user password authentication and use your username, which mine is demo and also password, mine is my password. And the database is admin, which is the default one. And also we do want to enable the SRV record. And next, let's click connect. Okay, and let's go to your database. So mine is demo, so I click demo and you can see those are my uh, documents from the first lab. Those are my demo from my first um, lecture and this is the lab 10 so that is the data from lab 10 and this is from the lecture so we all should have this lab 10 uh, records okay uh, so let's go here and this is a document this is where we can define the queries you can see by default and um, this is a find operator Okay, so let's do a very simple one. So let's say we want to find out the language. You can see it's very nice that the MongoDB automatically complete uh, the, key, the key name, colon, and let's use a, a quotation mark. Let's say we want to find out tweets that language is English. You can see here, we do have several tweets that language is English. Okay, so let's say find. And now we all see that all the tweets are now retained will be that tweet that the language is English. Okay, uh, so that's a very simple uh, query. Uh, 